for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my chat i've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person that you're currently dealing with we'll see what's coming up for the two of you we'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is so cancer Cancer, the recent past energy between your per between you and your person. Eight of Wands and it's with the Empress. Now, this Eight of Wands is showing that there could have been a lot of things up in the air for you at that time. You could have started to feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card is actually an indicator to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do now decisions. They need to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Yeah. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. Now to the Empress, just know that the Empress doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong. In any and all endeavors now, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that this will always mean financially. Because we all know that there are many types of wealth and riches in life. And money is actually only one of them. But the Empress can have it all. She can encompass any or all of them. So, Cancer, what I'm picking up on for a lot of you is that, you know, the recent past energy between you and your person is that you could have been waiting on some communication from them. Yeah, some of you... <laughs> wanted to hear from this person. But it wasn't coming in. Maybe not as fast as you wanted it to, but I'm, I'm just kidding you that you were waiting. You really wanted to hear from, from your person. Um, you're very attracted to this person. Because the Empress is about, um, it can be about a potent time where, as you find men and women alike both finding you attractive all of a sudden. Yeah, the Empress is about deep love. You had emotions for this person. You probably had a lot of love for them. I'm getting that you probably reached out. But she didn't hear, he didn't hear back from them. Or it just took a long time. But let's move on over. It took a long time for you to hear back from them. Or they just didn't get back to you. But let's see if we can get some more clarity on this. Because it's kind of vague, I know. So, coming up for you and your person. Five of Pentacles. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life could feel less than secure. But the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You may feel alone, but just know you have the capacity to change that, so reach out. You could feel like you're left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything. And you're the only one suffering, but just, just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. 
It doesn't help that you need it will come. Now do the King of Pentacles, which speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters when this card appears. It's actually a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick. It's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this does stand for actual person in your life, it can stand for a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the dark, darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either. It could go either way. Um, if it is referring to an actual person or a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Yes, the King of Pentacles is a very good energy. It's about someone being stable, um, secure, committed. Um, the King of Pentacles actually makes a really good father. Very good energy, King of Pentacles. Okay, so coming up, Cancer. Five of Pentacles clarified by this King of Pentacles. So like I said, you reached out to your person. And I'm kidding, it, it either it could have taken a long time for them to get back to you, or they didn't get back to you at all. This is someone that you got emotions for, and you, you could be attracted or drawn to them in in some kind of way. If it's not physical, it's it's some other kind of way you're really attracted to them. Um, but coming up, though, you could start to feel um, less insecure, less than secure in the connection. Um, for a lot of you, the communication was not what you were hoping to hear, or they just never got back to you. You wanted success. You reached out to this person, but you didn't have success with it. Yeah. You did not have success with the communication that you sent out. Like I said, for some of you, they didn't get back to you at all. And for others, they did, but the, but the um, communication was not what you were hoping to hear. So it made you feel like this Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold or just very insecure about the connection. Maybe it made you feel insecure about yourself. Yeah, this Five of Pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to relationships. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got Justice. And it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands, when this card appears, you can find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well. You should be feeling good, and any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately, but it's actually time to feel the fear. Do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate. To make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because with the seven of wands, your thinking is clear. And you can actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. Yeah, this card, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now it's with justice. Justice deals with the idea of karma. And the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now, if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be Resolved a large degree in your favor when you get the justice card. So your challenge, Cancer, Seven of Wands, clarified by justice.
Okay, so what I'm picking up on is that uh, your person, this person that you 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 were not successful with just trying to reach out to them. I'm getting that they're holding something against you. Yeah, with the justice card here. Um, they can feel like um, you did them wrong in some kind of way. Um, yeah, it looks like you tried to come out on top and win this situation with them or win the connection with them. But as we, as we already saw, or as we already can see, is that it was unsuccessful. It looks like you might try again. But, yeah, the, it looks like you might try again because the Seven of Wands is showing up. And it's about, Seven of Wands is about wanting to be the last man standing, wanting to win. So I'm getting that you might make another attempt. But it's showing with justice here. Justice here, they're holding something against you. They could be wanting some type of wrong to be made right. Or they just feel like some type of injustice was served. And I, I believe it would be by you. The reason why they're not communicating back or the communication is not successful. Or it's just not, they're not giving you the communication that you need they feel like um, they could feel like they were wrong by you yeah or they could feel like some type of justice needs to be served so you're not getting the communication that that you want and it's making it's it's it's, it's already made you feel less insecure or insecure. Yeah. So it looks like you might try again to reach out to this person. Because the challenge is showing that you, deep down inside, you still want to win this connection. But they feel, yeah, they feel like something was done wrong to them by you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got this strength card and it's with the nine of swords. Now the strength card, with this one it's important for you to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got 19 kids, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation. And fair because the outward things they should be going all right when you get the strength card. But what's most important is what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords. Now, with this card, you're going to have to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, maybe try to take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control. And try to lessen it, or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. And if this is the case, maybe take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is so maybe try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is so your outcome the strength card clarified by nine of swords Yeah, so this Nine of Swords, it's just showing that you could have some anxiety. And you could be sad, feeling sad about the outcome. Um, yeah, you could be feeling really blue 
Um, with the Nine of Swords, it can be about nightmares, anxiety, but you realize that you have to, you have to step out of this and be stronger, like the Strength card is showing. You have to um, just, just, you have to lift yourself up because it looks like this whole situation has kind of made you I feel down and sad and it's messing with your confidence and your security. Um, we yeah, have somebody is just holding something against you. I don't know if this is a, a love interest or maybe it's a family member or a friend. Maybe even a situation. But yeah, there's somebody that you have emotions for. You reached out to them and it was not successful at all. They probably did not even get back to you, some of you. And for others of you, they got back to you, but the communication was not at all what you were hoping for. You wanted success with, with, the, with your attempt. And you wanted to win. You really wanted to win this connection or you wanted to win whatever type of communication you were sending out you wanted it to um, feel like it was successful but it wasn't they're holding something against you cancer um, they could want some type of justice to be served some type of wrong to be made right or they could want you to feel what they felt when the injustice was made. They could be wanting you to get your they could be wanting you to to get paid back. They could be wanting revenge or hoping that you get paid back for whatever you did to them to make them feel not so good. But yeah, it's about karma justice. Um, things that you put out to people, you know, what karma, they say, it usually comes back to you three times as big or ten times as big. They could be wanting you to get your, get some type of karma back to you for whatever wrong that they feel you've done to them. But, yeah, you realize it was, it's a flop. It's causing you some anxiety and some worry and sleepless nights. And you just realize you have to be stronger with the strength card here. Um, strength card can be about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. So you're just, you're trying to, um, maybe, like I said, meditate, contemplate, conquering, um, your fears or in disappointments and just lifting yourself up. Yeah, so... Somebody that you had emotions for, or somebody that you cared a lot about, something went wrong, and it looks like you tried to make it right, but it was a flop. Yeah, it didn't work out like you, you were hoping that it would. They're holding something against your cancer. But that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates as you know general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself. Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can, meaning you could be them, 
or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, situation. Yeah, so take the reading for however it resonates because like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a wonderful new year. I'm wishing all of you the best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day, a great day, a great day.